So we are here at Speedway Harley-Davidson taking a look at this Indian Chief Bobber that was recently traded in for a Harley-Davidson. <laughs> This is the second Indian that we are making a video on. I'm gonna go over some of the specs I was able to find out about this bike really quickly. This bike comes with a 1,811 cc, 49 degree V-twin, putting out 107 foot-pounds of torque. It comes with a wet clutch. You've got a four gallon tank. It has the aftermarket Freedom Exhaust on here, and I mean, it sounds pretty good. The bike comes with rider modes. As you can see, it's in sport mode, as well as cruise control. And as you can see, it has that bobber style to it. And I'd say it's trying to compete with the street bob, but let's take her out on the road and see how she rides. All right, so we're about to go out for a ride here. As you can see, you get your basic speedometer with some information that'll be provided down there the way you cut this bike on is by hitting the power button and as you can see it will power up it is currently in sport mode what we're going to do is start off in so you've got sport mode standard mode and touring mode we'll start off in standard mode and then we'll cycle through the other modes while out here riding as you can see on the tachometer, you do have things like your fuel gauge as well as time. When you press the, ta the button that's over here behind, you're able to see what gear you're in, current mileage on the bike, which looks like it's 3,852 miles, which is quite low. You got your trip A as well as your trip B or trip 2. They call them trip 1 and trip 2. Then you get your RPM digitally right there. And you got your current DC current that's going to the battery. Looks like that's the temperature there. You got 87. And then you get um, your average miles to the gallon, which looks like this baby gets about 42.2 miles to the gallon. And you get your range of how much is left in this tank which is 87 miles to this tank of fuel left. And then you're back to what your miles are. So you do get quite a bit of information. All right, and to crank it up, you flick this switch down and you start it. Now let me be 100% transparent with you upon starting the motorcycle up. This Freedom Exhaust sounds really good. I don't know if y'all can hear that through the mic, but it sounds extremely good. All right, let's see how she rides. Let us know, what do you think about us actually offering some of our really high quality trade-ins to you guys? Is that something you'd like to see? Just like this Chief Bobber. It's in excellent condition. It's got low miles. It's pretty good sounding motorcycle, I will have to say. I'm not going to say it sounds better than a Harley once you put some exhaust on it. But it definitely does sound good. So it looks like the bike has forward controls. Let me focus on this curve. Oh yeah, it feels good in the curve, feels good in the curve. So let's talk about some ergonomics while we're out here. I am actually six feet tall, about 230 pounds, and the bike feels quite roomy. You've got these forward controls, which definitely help with, as far as the bike feeling more roomy for a taller person. I'm sitting at about a right angle. The bars on here are a little bit lower than my shoulder height, but my arm placement feels really good and the bike sounds amazing now how does this ride compared to something like the street bob it kind of has a similar feel to it as far as where the weight is placed they feel about the same and this bike does feel like it's made it's quality made the only things i would really nitpick and this is just really seriously nitpicking at this point is like the controls i'd like to see 
um, the controls to be a little bit more finished than that kind of it's like that plastic feeling um, that, that isn't fully finished I'd like to see them kind of like the buttons are on here but other than that the finish of the bike looks pretty good the paint looks solid I don't see any blemishes on this pre-owned unit at all and again it sounds good and it's torquey and we are just in standard mode here now what I'm gonna do now is see if you can switch modes while riding Let's give that a try ride mode hold it down we're in standard tour and I'm switched to sport mode let's roll off it looks like we're fully in sport mode and roll on it looks like when you're switching modes on this bike while in motion you gotta roll off now the seat on this bike it doesn't feel bad but it doesn't feel like now the seat on this bike it's okay it doesn't feel like something you'll want to be on for extended rides but i'm pretty sure you got the option to switch out the seat to something different but it's a bobber it's supposed to have that minimalistic styling and when you do that you're going to have that minimalistic seat that's actually not going to be the most comfortable seat in the world but it's definitely doable i would like to see some lower lumbar support on this seat just due to the fact that this motorcycle feels quite torquey like as you can see it's it's torquey especially in that sport mode and i'm not sure if they've done something to the motor on here as well um, or if just this two in the one freedom exhaust gave it this type of performance Oh man that exhaust sounds good all right so we're gonna we're gonna do an acceleration test here let me let that car in front of me get up to speed a little bit we're not gonna be ridiculous or nothing but we're at like 25 miles per hour and I'm gonna roll on okay yeah she'll definitely move <laughs> the bike definitely will move it does have some torque and acceleration i believe this bike weighs roughly around 670 pounds and it has that 1811 cc motor in it so of course it's gonna it's gonna accelerate as far as the size of the motor to the weight ratio and then what did i say it had 107 foot pounds of torque so that's that's pretty good she does feel quite nimble and the suspension is is pretty good you still get that bobber feel i still definitely can feel some of the road but it's not like unbearable or anything like that the suspension feels good on this motorcycle we all know the top two brands when it comes to the cruiser market is going to be harley davidson as well as indian indian of course <laughs> is coming in second in my opinion this is all opinionated it is behind harley davidson the harley brand's number one you're going to see more harleys on the road than anything else but this chief bobber is a nice machine it's definitely a nice motorcycle and the fact that this one has already had an exhaust put on it definitely helps it out i'm pretty sure this bike does not sound like that <laughs> with the stock exhaust on it now if this is something that you're interested in you're actually interested in even comparing and contrasting the street bob with the indian bobber definitely stop in visit our showroom ask the guys to take you out on a demo you can start off on the street bob and ask them to switch so you'll have the option to ride both of them all right we're gonna hit the corner here yeah the bike rides good and handles pretty good and if you're looking for a pre-owned cruiser this is definitely an excellent option for you and you kind of got that styling preference for me i prefer the style of the harley davidson like the the street bob as well as the low rider s those type of motorcycles but out of the indian lineup i'll have to say that this is one of the bikes that doesn't you know it doesn't make me want to throw up <laughs> it looks pretty good and it rides pretty good as well i mean there's benefits to a harley 
and that's going to be the fact of that aftermarket community the amount of aftermarket parts as far as for the engine the exhaust all of those different things that you're going to get out of a harley davidson but this is a nice machine and a great option for someone who man it sounds good i'm not going to even lie to you the bike sounds good going down the road but this is a great option for someone looking for a cruiser but just want something a little bit different we're on two wheels long as you're on two wheels you're good of course you prefer to be on a harley but if you can't get on that harley you got the option of this pre-owned indian right here that's up here at speedway harley davidson i do believe we are a freedom exhaust a dealer currently we do have that option of getting some of the freedom exhaust and it sounds good this pipe sounds good and i think this is one of the companies that actually make some different options for the nightster as well as the um the sportster s as far as the exhaust i think we have some on order coming in that we're going to upfit a few of our bikes with and this exhaust sounds good i'm happy i got to experience this today and see what it sounds like so it looks like they have something going on over there today and i don't want to interfere so we're going to go around back but let us know what do you think of this motorcycle and what are your thoughts on us offering some of our more premium trade-ins that people trade in would y'all like to see that moving forward and would you like to see videos on some of those trade-ins so that way you kind of got something to compare and contrast with i know you see nothing but harley davidson on our channel here would you like to see um other reviews of some of the trade-ins too moving forward we're gonna go down a little bit more there's this cool spot around back if we cannot get through oh they got it blocked off today um so we'll just go right here i don't know what's going on up here i don't know if they got like an event but we'll just use the bathroom parking lot <laughs> oh they're setting up for the lights i get it i get it we'll just use the bathroom parking lot then shut her down shut her down sport mode is definitely more torquey than your standard mode i forgot to even go in tour mode but you know it's there for you here's a quick walk around of the bike let us know what do you think of this are you looking for a pre-owned chief bobber or a street bob something like that let us know definitely stop into the showroom check out our selection of pre-owned as well as new inventory we have an entire floor full of bikes right now make sure you're subscribed to the channel hit that bell notification that's the only way you're going to know when we upload a new video make sure you're sharing the content engage by commenting down below like this video and uh enjoy this funny little bit of b-roll that's at the end of the video so uh, i'm gonna tell y'all a little backstory before i show y'all this b-roll i was outside actually in the process of the beginning of this video and jesse walked up and did this which i think is hilarious you know we're all bikers we're just playing around here but enjoy this uh <laughs> this, this little end credits back here got a video for you about this here bike. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jesse, and we're down here at Who Gives a f Motors. They call it a, I think a chief bobber, because you gotta be high as hell if you're gonna buy this. My doctor told me to stop being so crazy, so I need to shrink the size of my balls. Watch me do that on top of this Indian. Yep, they're gone. <laughs>